This is Five on Your Side at Noon, focused on you. He rose to fame on his singing and acting, but it was Harry Belafonte's work on civil rights he treasured most. As we go on the air this noon hour, the nation mourns the death of the entertainment and civil rights giant at the age of 96. Thanks for being here at noon. I'm Kay Quinn. Harry Belafonte's activism was felt right here in St. Louis in the 1950s. More on that coming up, but first, NBC's Dan Sheneman takes a look at the legend's life and career. Had to say I'm on my way. Harry Belafonte was primarily raised by his mother. I admired the struggle that she made and I saw in her the things that I should be, and especially with her guidance and counsel. While he studied acting in New York, he turned to music and eventually developed his signature sound. His 1956 album, Calypso, was the first LP to sell more than one million copies within a year. Stuck by nine until the morning comes. He was soon nicknamed the King of Calypso. The singer soon moved to the silver screen. Oh, works. The actor then became an activist. Passionate about civil rights, Belafonte was a close confidant of Dr. Martin Luther King. Beyond being deeply moved by his intellectual capacity, it was his humility and the kind of humanity he revealed whenever he walked into a campaign and was deeply concerned about whether or not he was doing the right thing. Not morally, but tactically. Belafonte never backed away from his commitment to social justice. He fought apartheid in South Africa and hunger on the African continent. He helped bring the biggest names in music together to record We Are the World. It raised millions for victims of famine. I got the platform and opportunity to articulate a point of view that many Americans have shared in people in the world, and uh, I think I handled it with dignity and uh, a certain kind of preciseness that I've not regretted. Harry Belafonte, a life of purpose lived without regret. Dan Sheneman, NBC News. Harry Belafonte had congestive heart failure. He died in his New York home with his wife Pamela by his side. He was 96 years old. Harry Belafonte broke the color barrier right here in St. Louis in the 1950s. The outdoor pool at the Chase Park Plaza Hotel was built in 1954. Belafonte would go on to become the first black person to use it that decade. Newspaper reports from the time say he was very proud and touched by the experience. The Chase became known as a hotel people of color could stay at during a time when other hotels refused to allow black customers to book rooms. Collinsville.